Now in this video the scanner is not going to be much help. Scanners are great tools and to fix cars these days you absolutely need one. But just because you have a scanner doesn't mean that it's going to do what you want it to. It may not communicate at all with your vehicle and even if it does it may not display the data that you're looking for. This is especially true of early OBD2 vehicles. So in this case the scanner lists misfire parameters but it doesn't show any data. So we can't rely on the scanner to identify where the misfire is coming from. But we can rely on our knowledge and some basic test tools. Now this ignition system has a coil over plug. One coil fires two spark plugs. It fires one on this side and one on the other side. So to gain access to all that we have to take the air box off. When we take the air box off this also has a mass airflow sensor but it's down here in the breather box. So when we separate this there's no way for air to make it into the intake. So without the mass airflow getting air in through the intake the engine is not going to run unless we unplug the mass airflow sensor. So we're actually going to create a code that's going to set a code for mass airflow but we know that we created it and we'll clear it later. But with this unplugged we can actually run the engine. But now we have access to our coils. Now in this system, for example in this here, we've got one coil. The control comes through here. It also fires this wire which goes over to the other engine and then when we pull that out you've got the spark plug booth right there. So this coil fires two spark plugs. One on this side of the engine and one on the other side of the engine. And that's true with all three coils. So we've actually got three coils and three wires that we need to test. Where can that misfire be coming from? We don't have the scanner to tell us so we're actually going to have to dig for the evidence. A very, a very simple but yet a very accurate way of telling whether or not these spark plug wires are bad because it could be the wire, could be the coil, or could be the spark plug is actually to take a little clip like this, just make it out of me mechanics wire. It just kind of looks like an S. So what you want to do here is just pull your boot off, take your mechanics wire that you've made in there. It's made in an S so it'll slip down inside and then put your boot back on it again. That way you're actually touching the inside but it brings it out to the outside. Now we've actually put that on on all three of these wires. Then you need to take just a regular wire with an alligator clip. We've got it grounded and we're going to take the other side and just actually touch the tip of these. Now we're going to start the engine. Okay, now you can hear the engine idling. The load only comes. You can hear the engine idling. We only have our misfire under load, so we're going to brake torque it. Basically what we're doing here is pretty much the same thing that you'd be doing with a spark tester like this. It's just quicker and faster. But the other thing is it gives us the ability to see that flame. As you saw when I had it down here, if I would get very close or I would start backing away, I'd get about that far away and the flame would disappear. Now if we had a bad spark plug wire, that flame would be like what we call a flamethrower. It would just be a very big bright flame and you could actually pull this further away and the flame would stay there. So what we found out here, the evidence is that all three of these were about the same. The distance was about the same and when we pulled away from each one, when we would ground them, you could hear the change in the engine performance so it was actually telling us that each of the cylinders on the other side of the engine are actually contributing. Now how are we going to test the coil side? Well if you look back down here we can't leave these in here or we're going to get zapped when we do this. So we're going to actually have to pull these out and just put our wires back on. 
because you don't want to just get yourself electrified here. Now we can test the coils. So now we have evidence that all three coils are firing. They're firing this side and they're actually going to the other side. Now that side, when we pulled these wires off, we could tell that the cylinders were contributing. But if you look down here at the coil, how can we do that? Well, it's basically simple. When it's running, we can just take the coil, take your bolts out, and lift up the coil. Now that's an idle. So now let's load torque it. Okay. Now you can hear the engine misfiring. We're going to take this front one. You can hear the change in the engine. We take the middle one. There's no change in the engine. Go back to the back one. You can hear the change in the engine. Back to the middle one. So this one is our problem. So that's our evidence. The center cylinder on this side under load is not contributing to power. So there's our evidence. Now send in your comments and tell us what you think the problem is. And then in number three we're going to show you the results.